Hello everybody, this is Leo from Inside Leo's Mind. So today, I want to do a, a review of the Red T-Rex from the original Jurassic Park toy line. Okay, I'm going to tell you that this is not the throwback Red T-Rex that was, you see at Target now. The one at Target is a slightly different from this. Although the only thing, what's, what remains identical is the coloration, is the colors. The paint job is, the paint job on this is very, is, okay. The one the the 30th anniversary Mattel figure is 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 basically a throwback. This is the original one that came out in 1933, which I will talk about. I'll do my analysis and opinion about it right about now. Let's get on. To, let's jump right in. Okay. The sculpting. Okay, this came out in this came out in 1993 by Kenner to tie in with the original Jurassic Park. So the figure measures about thirty four, um, um, thirty six inches long, inches long and twenty, twenty four feet high. Well, please correct me if I'm wrong. Well, it's pretty big. You can see it's it's a long figure. The sculpting, I really do like the sculpt and its sheer size. And it does go in scale with your human action, with your regular action figures and other, and other dinosaurs. The head sculpt looks, okay, some people say it doesn't look any, it doesn't look anything like Rexy from the movie. But to me, it does. It does shout out Jurassic Park. If you look at this, Rex is on the face. It's supposed to be Rexy. Well, the as for paint job wise, it's not accurate to the, to the movie's counterpart. It's more like it's based off the Kenner, than, sorry, not Kenner, based off the Michael Crichton novel than, than to this film, to her film counterpart. It's made out of, it's made out of, out of rubber, which gives it a real feel skin. Kind of similar to the young T-Rex, Demon Carnotaurus. And the Thrasher T Rex. Okay, the Thrasher T Rex from the, the Thrasher T Rex from the original, from the original, so not from the original, from the Lost World toy line, has a, has a similar skull or head structure like this. I might have heard that before. It does have it does have electronic features, but the electronics on this doesn't work anymore. You can see you can just put your battery right down there. But the. But I have a warning that the electronics are very fragile. If it starts breaking, the roar might be on repeat. I'll, I'll, another thing I remember about this thing is that, about this dinosaur, is that if you stomp its feet against a hard surface such as this floor, it makes a stomping noise. If you squeeze the sides, it's supposed to roar. But I said that, that my electronics doesn't work on mine anymore. Okay, when you get the okay, when you first get these out of your hu humongous boxes, there's a kink. So according to what Jurassic Collectible says, is that you can use some hot, some lukewarm water to to fix the tail a bit. The tail's very bendable. As for articulation wise, okay, you can move like the Demon Carnotaurus and the Young T Rex. You can um, move her arms up and down like that. But although the the left arm, okay, it pops off easily. I I try to put super glue on it just that way it won't fall off. I know what I've seen when you get these off eBay, the arms are tend to get missing all the time. So you can go on. So if your arms, if your if your red T Rex is missing an arm, you can go on eBay or Etsy. Or Etsy to get new to get the new arm to replace it. Well, unlike most dinosaurs of that of of, of the original and the original and series two toy line, this one has no source of dino damage. No apparent dino damage is seen anywhere. And it has the JP logo right here. Jurassic Park number nine. 
So yes. I give this figure a 5 out of 5 or 10 out of 10 for being the best thing ever. It's a classic. The sculpting is, is beautiful. The head looks right. So I'm going to say that the... Another quick comparison, which I don't have the... I don't have the new version of the of this T-Rex, but the new version is, lot, is a lot more shorter, and it does make an accurate roar. So, enough said. I'm going to say, this is Leo from Inside Leo's Mind, and I'll see you on the flip side.